<laughs> oh, hi there. Rabbi B here with Devora the Bee. That's me. Hi. Hi, Devora. Well, we're making Shana Tova cards, and I'm cutting out an apple for my Shana Tova card because we use apples on Rosh Hashanah. And Devora, what do we dip apples in? <laughs> I knew you knew that one because honey comes from bees and Devora is a bee. Okay, well, there's an apple. How does that apple look? I think it looks great. Thanks. All right, and I have some other ones ready made already. I have some red apples and some yellow apples and some bumblebees. See these little bumblebees? <laughs> Just for you, you know, because I know all your friends and family are watching. And I think today we'll make our Shana Tova card with a yellow piece of paper. And I think I'll fold the yellow paper in half, just like, you know, a birthday card or a greeting card that you get from somebody. You know, on your birthday, you get a birthday card that says, Happy Birthday inside to you. So I'm going to make a Shana Tova card to my very special friend. And on the very front, I think we should start, how about with a red apple? What does that sound, Dora? I think that's great idea. Great. I like to use double-sided tape because it's thick and good and you can stick it on and it looks like the picture is floating, which is very special. And how about a yellow one on top of the red one? And then how about a red one on top of the yellow one? Ooh. Yeah, that's a fun idea. Do something to get the sticker off. Okie doke. And we'll put the yellow, oh, maybe a red. We'll do red on top of yellow because it's a yellow card. So we'll do that. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Our apples are on the card. How does that look? Okay, what should we do next? What do you think? Uh, the shofar. The shofar. Hmm, the shofar is yellow, so it's going to be hard to see. How about I put it on top of some, maybe the red apple, so we kind of have a, and I'll do some glue stick for that. So it's like a shofar on an apple. Okay. And then I think we should add some bees. What do you think about that, Devora? Yeah. <laughs> I knew you'd like that idea. <laughs> Okay, we'll put a little bumblebee. How about flying around apples? Because I know the bees like to eat things that are sweet. Yep. Just like the honey that you guys make. And how about we do, maybe I'll do three bees on my Shana Tova card. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, little bees. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Maybe one on the bottom. There we go. There. Now my card is all decorated. How does that look? Oh, it's great. Yeah. Now I think we should write on something. Maybe we should write, how about Shana Tova to somebody? I'm gonna use purple for the top. I'll write it in Hebrew. Shin, nun, hey, tet, vav, vet, and hey, shana tova. There we go. Yeah, very fun. And then on the inside, I always like to write a message to somebody. I think I'll use blue. And I'll write, how about to my very good friend, to Devora the Bee. Devora, should I write a card for you? Yeah. I'll write two. Devora, happy and sweet new year from me, Rabbi B. There we go. To Devora, happy and sweet new year from me, Rabbi B. And that card is for you, Devora. Shana Tova Umetuka. I'll put it right there next to you so you can look at it. And of course, you boys and girls can make your own Shana Tova card at home with mommy and daddy's help. You know, you can ask your mommy and daddy to prepare some shapes for you, maybe apples or pomegranates or shofars. And then you can stick them on the card yourself and then give it to a friend or a grandma or grandpa. Well, have fun making cards for Rosh Hashanah, Shana Tova, Umetuka. Five red apples. I have five red apples on my apple tree. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five. Rabbi B had five red apples growing on the tree. Rabbi B had five red apples growing on a tree. Well, he plucked one apple and he ate it hungrily. Now there's only four red apples hanging on the tree. One, two, three, four. Rabbi B had four red apples hanging on the tree. 
Rabbi V had four red apples hanging on the tree. Well, he plucked one apple and he ate it hungrily. Now there's only three red apples growing on the tree. One, two, three. Rabbi B had three red apples growing on the tree. Rabbi B had three red apples growing on the tree. Well, he plucked one apple and he ate it hungrily. Now there's only two red apples growing on the tree. One, two. Rabbi B had two red apples growing on the tree. Rabbi B had two red apples growing on the tree. Well, he plucked one apple and he ate it hungrily. Now there's only one red apple growing on the tree. One. Rabbi B had one red apple growing on the tree. Rabbi B had one red apple growing on a tree. Well, he plucked one apple and he ate it hungrily. Now there are no more apples hanging on the tree. Zero. Rabbi B had no more apples hanging on the tree. Rabbi B had no more apples hanging on the tree. There were no more apples, so it's time to go back to Devora the Bee. Cause there are no more apples hanging on the tree. Honey Bee, Honey Bee. Honey bee, honey bee, is your honey sweet? Yes, sir, yes, sir, sweet enough to eat. Eat it with an apple or in a honey cake. Eat it by the spoonful as much as I can make. Honey bee, honey bee, is your honey sweet? Yes, sir, yes, sir, sweet enough to eat. I love bees. They are one of Hashem's greatest creations. And boy, do they love eating nectar and pollen from flowers. Well, today I'm going to go check on my honeybees and see if they're busy making honey for Rosh Hashanah. There are so many things I'm going to need. I'm going to need a smoker, a holder, and all kinds of tools. I'm going to be really careful getting my smoker ready. Let me check and make sure my smoker is really smoky. I use the smoker to keep the bees nice and calm. All right, time to get dressed. I'm going to need a very special coat. This is my beekeeper's coat. I put it on to make sure my arms are protected, just in case a bee wants to give me a little sting. Okay, the next thing I'm going to need are special gloves. These keep my hands safe and also remind me to be very gentle when handling the bees. The last thing I need to wear is a special mask to keep my face nice and safe. How do I look? Okay, it's time to check on my bees. All right, let me take a closer look. Ooh, lots of activity. My bees are going in and out of the beehive. I'm always very gentle when I take care of my bees. Let's take a look. Wow, look at all the bees and how busy they are making delicious honey. 
Look how busy they are, how they work together. They must be really good friends. All right, time to check the bottom. The bottom is where all the babies are kept. And when the bees grow up, they come to the top and make lots and lots of honey. Oh, they're really busy today. All right, bees. I'll let you get back to work. I know you're really busy. Have a great day. Shana Tova Umetuka. Where are the bees? Here is the hive, but where are the bees? Hiding away where nobody sees. Watch and you'll see them come out of the hive. One, two, three, four, five. Here is the hive, but where are the bees? Hiding away where nobody sees. Watch and you'll see them come out of the hive. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, hi there. I'm sitting under the mitzvah tree, and I wonder, Oh, mitzvah tree, it's Rabbi B. Do you have a mitzvah for me? Oh, mitzvah tree gave me the best mitzvah of all for Rosh Hashanah. It's a shofar, and we blow the shofar on Rosh Hashanah by day to say, Rosh Hashanah is here. Now a shofar is a musical instrument and it has four different sounds it can make on Rosh Hashanah. The first one is called tekiya, and it sounds like this. It's one long sound. Can you try it yourself? Very good. The next sound is called shvarim, and it's three sounds, and it goes like this. Can you try making that sound too? Pretty good. The third sound is terua, and it's many, many, many little sounds, and it sounds like this. <laughs> That's a fun one. Can you try making that sound too? Excellent. And the last one is a very long sound called Tekia Gedola. And it sounds like this. <laughs> and it can go even longer than that. Why don't you give it a try yourself? Let me hear your Tekia Gedola. Whoa, that was really long. Well, on Rosh Hashanah, we blow the shofar. I can't wait for Rosh Hashanah so I can go to shul and listen to the sounds of the shofar. It's going to be wonderful. The shofar is going to tell everybody that Rosh Hashanah is here. And let's shout it loud and clear. Shana Tova Umetuka. You know, there's one big mitzvah to do on Rosh Hashanah, and that's to blow the shofar. A shofar is a musical instrument made out of a horn, and I have here three kinds of horns to choose from. Do you know which one is the shofar? Hmm, do you think this one is the shofar? Let's try. Nope, that's a trumpet. That's not a shofar. Try again. Which one is the shofar? Do you think this one is the shofar? Let's find out. <laughs> That's 
that's not a shofar either. This is a trombone. Well, that leaves us with one more instrument. This one. Do you think this one is a shofar? You're right. This is a shofar. And this is the horn that we blow on Rosh Hashanah to say, Shana Tova Umetuka. And to tell Hashem, we're ready for a wonderful and sweet new year. Shana Tova. Tapuchim Bidvash. Tapuchim bidvash le Rosh Hashanah Apples dipped in honey on Rosh Hashanah Shana Tova, Tova umetuka Apples dipped in honey for Rosh Hashanah Tikiat shofar be Rosh Hashanah We blow a shofar on Rosh Hashanah Shana Tova, Tova Umetuka, we blow a shofar on Rosh Hashanah. Holchim letahashlich be Rosh Hashanah, we go to Tahashlich on Rosh Hashanah. Shana Tova, Tova Umetuka, we go to Tahashlich on Rosh Hashanah. Omrim Shana Tova be Rosh Hashanah We say Shana Tova on Rosh Hashanah Shana Tova, Tova Umetuka We say Shana Tova on Rosh Hashanah Well, thanks for stopping by. I have everything I need for my Rosh Hashanah I have my Shana Tova card, my apple and honey, and of course, my shofar. And I'm ready for Rosh Hashanah. Well, from Devorah the Bee, Bye. and me, Rabbi B, we want to wish you a Shana Tova Umetuka, because Shana means year, Tova means good, and Metuka means sweet. Shana Tova, Shana Tova.